A lot of buzz from here to Washington over a big decision 2020 race, the 22nd Congressional District, which includes some of our largest suburbs. Yeah, it, it's a high profile race, largely because of the high profile profile candidates running for it. Our senior reporter, Phil Archer, joining us live with a look at the growing list of candidates. Phil? Yeah, uh, over a dozen Republicans are running for what has long been considered a safe Republican district, but this year Democrats are making it a real contest. 17 Republicans are running to replace retiring Congressman Pete Olson in a suburban district that sprawls across Fort Bend, Brazoria, and Harris counties. The front runners on the Republican side appear to be Fort Bend Sheriff Troy Nails, who officially announced last Saturday his top issues, immigration, gun rights, term limits, and the deficit. The issues that we deal with here are real. And the issues that we deal with here, up in Washington, they're doing nothing. Another high-profile candidate jumped into the race today, Pierce Bush, grandson of late President George H.W. Bush and nephew of President George W. Bush. He's currently CEO of nonprofit Big Brothers Big Sisters Lone Star. This is his first political race. I know what it's like to be a legislative leader. It means outreaching. It means earning people's trust and support, and that's what I plan to do. Also a factor, Republican activist Kathleen Wall, who lost a bid for the second congressional district last year after funding her campaign with $6 million of her own money. With so many candidates running on the Republican side, Rice political scientist Mark Jones says a runoff is virtually certain. So the real race right now is to get into that May runoff, and roughly 15 to 20 percent of the vote will get you there. But unlike past years, the winner on the Republican side won't be a shoe-in. Last year, Democrat Siri Kilkarni finished just five points behind Olson in the runoff for District 22. This year, Kilkarni is running again, along with Democratic hopefuls Nyanza Davis-Moore, Paraland City Councilman Derek Reed, and Chris Fernandez. The deadline for filing ended 15 minutes ago. So far, 21 candidates from both parties have declared they're running in District 22. Only two will be left after the primary smoke clears. Reporting live in Richmond, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.